Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to do your weekly reading, February 15th through the 21st. This is uh, your weekly Anything Goes. That means this can be about career, finances, family, friends, just whatever messages come out that are meant for you to hear. So everything else you need to know is in the description box, uh, personal readings if you want to enter my giveaway, all of that and some other links are below as well to help you out. So uh, with that, we will get started. I hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy and safe. We're going to pull a couple cards here for you, Sag, uh, February 15th through the 21st from the Animal Oracle Spirit. What messages do you have for us? Sagittarius. Let's get two cards, please. Let's get two cards. Okay, you have the cat spirit and you have the lion spirit. Okay. All right, Sag, this really looks like your energy here. <laughs> okay, you have number 13, which is for claim your independence. So you may be feeling really independent at this time. Uh, you may have some projects um, that you are working on or you may be focused on work here, really trying to gain your stability. I feel with, uh, without reading the message here uh, from the, the lion spirit number uh, 37, which is 10, I feel like there may be some pride or there may be some ego here. Um, <clears throat> I'm sensing, uh, but this is a uh, lion spirit, be generous of spirit. Okay. So, um, I feel the energy here. Uh, there may be something here where you're holding back. You may be holding back emotions. Okay. Um, I feel like there may be, like I said, some ego or some pride, okay? This can also be somebody that you are dealing with. If you're dealing with a person, roles can be reversed, okay? But this is definitely a fire energy here. So, you know, it may be a week where you're kind of holding back, okay, with something. You're, you're claiming your independence. You're working on something, okay? Could be your finances. But let's uh, pull some more tarot and see what comes out. Okay, so let's cut these cards. <clears throat> okay, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. Um, what messages do you have for Sagittarius February 15th through the 21st? Let's get three cards for Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the High Priestess. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the King of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck here, you have the Tower. Okay. All right, I'm going to call out the signs for Sag. Uh, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we strong Cancer in Pisces energy here. Okay. I feel Pisces, um, with this Tower card, I feel like there could be something unexpected uh, that may happen. Okay. Uh, you have the Ace of Wands below here too. Okay. I feel like there could be some sort of new opportunity coming your way, okay, uh, that you didn't expect, all right? Um, I feel like it's something that you're going to feel very passionate about. It can be, like I said, this, this project that you're working on, um, you know, but you also have here the Six of Wands. So whatever this is, it shows to me that it's going to be successful. Um, it can even be, you may even be supported by other people with this uh, endeavor. Now, it can be a creative idea. It can be love related, but let's uh, go through your other cards. So you have the high priestess here, okay? Now, you know, this can be a secret or something uh, that is revealed, an illusion, something comes um, 
to fruition here that you weren't expecting as the energy that I'm getting. Um, this also can be, I feel like a revelation uh, to you, something that uh, you pick up intuitively, okay, that maybe you would have never thought before type of energy, okay. <clears throat> Some of you may be really trying to listen to your intuition here, okay? I feel like there could be struggle with ego or pride as well, okay? Uh, that may not be for all of you. You have the Wheel of Fortune though, okay? So I feel like there is some faded event that may happen this week, okay, that gives some sort of shift, okay? And it's a shift that is positive, all right? Uh, because like I said, I do see some sort of new opportunity, okay, some sort of movement here. Now you have the King of Cups, okay, so it can be something I feel here that could affect you emotionally, okay, um, but let's pull some more cards because I'm actually feeling a little intrigued what this is, <laughs> all right. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have uh, for Sagittarius? And maybe you're holding back your emotions with this Lion Spirit um, or fighting emotions in a situation as well. So let's pull three more cards for Sagittarius. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Sagittarius? February 15th through... Ooh, way too many cards there. February 15th through the 21st. Okay, so you have the Seven of Swords. Ooh, you have the, the uh, Five of Swords. And you have the Knight of Swords. Okay. And you have uh, the Three of Wands. Okay. I feel, Sagittarius, there may be some sort of conversation coming uh, towards you here with the Knight of Swords, okay? And I feel like this may affect you emotionally, okay? And I feel like there is some sort of struggle here with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, okay? I feel like this is something that uh, you are going to be conflicted about, okay? Uh, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, okay? You have the Five of Swords uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever this communication, I feel like that may be coming in for you or some sort of, uh, I feel, illusion is revealed, okay, unexpectedly. I don't feel like you're expecting this. Um, it can be a conflict of multiple people as well. Uh, I do see five, five of Swords as a third-party card. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know three people in love, it, it can be any uh, situations, situation around you, but there's some sort of challenge here. I feel like whatever this shift is with the wheel, this faded shift here, you weren't expecting it, okay? Now, I feel like the, you know, it's something that the universe is saying, this is meant to happen, this is for your highest good, but you're gonna have some sort of conflict with it. Now you have uh, the Three of Wands, let's see, bottom of the deck, and the Six of Pentacles. And you have the Moon card, okay? I feel like this shifting is happening to bring some sort of balance to your life, but I feel like you're going to doubt it here with the Moon card. This is Pisces energy as well, okay? I feel like this shift is happening... Um, to bring more balance into your life, to open up opportunities, okay? And here is that that lion spirit again. I feel like, you know, you're trying, almost like I feel like you may even try to fight this. You're definitely, in, you're going to be in conflict about this. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Sagittarius? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. I feel like it could even be a, like a person who tries to cause some sort of conflict with you as well. <clears throat> and you may be feeling like you want to stand up to this person. You have the Nine of Swords, <clears throat> the Princess of Cups. Oh, okay. You have uh, the Four of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? 
Yeah, so I see definitely when this when this secret or illusion is revealed, you have the nine of swords. Tells me there's worry, there's anxiety, you may have sleepless nights. Okay, definitely thinking a lot about this. You have the princess of cups, okay? You know, this could be somebody around you, all right? Um, somebody around you that may be flirting with you, okay? Um, this could have to do with a child as well or somebody younger than you, okay? But there is some sort of worry or anxiety around this. It's really going to make you feel conflicted here. Then you have the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, okay? So I feel Sagittarius, um, you know, I talked about that lion and holding back. I feel like when this happens, when this communication comes in, you, I feel this energy, you're going to hold back. Okay, you're going to take some time to yourself. You're going to gain some clarity about this situation because I do feel like it's going to affect you emotionally. You have the Eight of Pentacles, okay, and you have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so this tells me here that you're definitely um, going to be very confused about this situation, uh, wondering if it's a situation that you should continue to work on, okay, or there is some sort of work effort here, working towards something, okay. Now, it may, you may be feeling like you have other options, okay, so I feel like you're going to take some time, okay, but I want to say here, they're telling you here with the magician, that you have everything you need to make things happen in the situation. It can't even be a card of manipulation. Somebody may be trying to confuse you or manipulate manipulate you. But let's pull some more cards and see what comes out. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Sagittarius, February fifteenth through the twenty-first? Let's get three cards, please. Actually, we're going to get two cards. Prince of Swords, Six of Swords. Let's get two more. Okay, you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, the bottom of the deck here, look, we have your energy here, Sagittarius. Yeah. I feel like you're really uh, trying to gain some balance uh, this week, okay? You have the Prince of Swords and you have the Six of Swords, okay? I feel like this is a situation, this is the energy I'm getting. You're gonna get some sort of communication from something, from someone. They are gonna reveal some sort of secret or something, I don't know. Um, but something is going to be revealed here, okay? And, um, I feel, and I think I just lost the message. Um, I almost, okay, this is what I was saying. I almost feel like the conversation or the communication for whatever reason, like, isn't really going anywhere, okay? And I feel like you're gonna move on from it, okay? So it can be just communication um, or miscommunication between you and this person and you move on from it. You know, all is well. It can be a distance being at a distance uh, from this person as well type of energy. It can be from a child, okay? It could be a child that you're dealing with. I definitely see this could be a love relationship. I'm not really seeing this as a work situation. Um, I feel like this has to do, you know, either with a friend, a family member, um, a love, or a child here, okay? You have the Nine of Pentacles and you have the Three of Pentacles, okay? So I sense here, Sad, you're really going to try to gain some balance here. I feel like there is some sort of offer um, that somebody may be giving you, okay? Um, or it's just a, a collaboration, teamwork effort, okay? So I feel like, you know, there may be some sort of miscommunication, something revealed here. Okay, it shows you're coming out of the conflict here, five of swords, six of swords, and then you have the temperance, shows me balance. Um, I feel like there is, that you and this person are gonna work things out, okay? So this may be somebody from your past with the judgment card, 
uh, that you have been dealing with for quite some time and maybe you've just been holding back, okay, not really trying not to deal with the situation, but I feel like things are going to work out here, okay, so there could be some sort of offer coming in here with the three of pentacles you know for some of you it can't even be money here okay i feel like there could have been some sort of project so there could have been some sort of project here as well that you were working on uh that was going to earn you some sort of money and i do feel like that money is going to come through for you okay but for others i sense here um there is going to be some sort of effort here uh, to work towards stability in your situation but there's some communication that's uh, coming through to you I feel here that's gonna make a shift okay so thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what other messages do you have for Sagittarius okay Ooh. and let's get one more card Oh yeah, there's our conflict card here. Okay, so bottom of the deck here, you have opportunity beckons, number four. All right, so yeah, there is an opportunity here for you. I feel there is an opportunity here for you to work this out with the person that you are dealing with, okay? It could even be a financial opportunity as well, all right? I feel like it's kind of like up to you though, okay, what you do, Sag, okay, just keep that in mind. You have number 15, which is six, which is master, okay. If this is a matter of the heart, this is where I see here there's that pride, that holding back. So you may be holding back, um, expressing how you feel about a situation, okay, with, with whoever this is. I feel like you're holding back your feelings, your emotions in the situation. It can be because of pride or ego. Yeah, have this, the, the crown chakra and uh, open up. I feel with this wheel in these two cards, the message I'm getting is I feel like this shift is happening to try and get you to open up more. Okay, so some of you may be um, becoming more spiritual. Uh, becoming more connected or you could be dealing with somebody who um, doesn't really have spiritual beliefs okay and that can be it as well but uh, somebody here um, I feel um, that the universe is really trying to get them to open up because uh, somebody's heart here is caged up okay not showing emotion or holding the emotions in okay and spirit is trying to get that crown chakra to open and i feel here that is where the conflict is okay with this number five win or lose i always say with this card in this deck it's it's um win or it's not how, if you win or lose it's how you play the game so you can be dealing with somebody too who's playing games with you okay that very well could be the case but i feel that if there's conflict here um i feel there could be pride and ego as well whether it's you or your person but i feel like it's going to turn out well because you have the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles okay so there is some sort of stability offer or working together coming about uh, through this situation all right sag i hope you gained some clarity here <clears throat> Again, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.